Hi guys, Chichi here again. This time I bring you the video of bots that I promised. So basically if you want to understand how can you learn more with a game of bots, what can you do and how do you behave in a bot game, I'm going to quickly show you some, some tips. So I've entered this bot game. Well, when you enter, ideally I would say just pause the game immediately. Enter, you pause. There's no problem here since it's bots. So now what you're going to do is, first of all, you see here on the top left, this little book icon, this has the builds that are suggested in game. So if you click just here on your shop, you'll see this suggested items here, right? Then you have these items here, buy early game, core items, situational, and the starting build. However, these builds that are made in game are most of the times inaccurate and from ancient metas, they haven't been updated. So there's people that actually do other builds that you can put here. And you will find all of those in this little book here. So let's click this. So there's this items, you click here now, and you will have the builds here. See this list? Notice that every time I click, the builds will change. Like Jakiro, we done good. I click this, build has changed. And now also you have a suggested skill build. This is really good if you want to start playing the game because you don't know how you should skill, scale the hero. So I would suggest you come here and check. For instance, this this guy here was made uh, by Dota Fire also. So if you want, you can you can use it, or else you can try something more um, recent. For instance, we have here the 6.88 standard Jakiro support build. So safe lane supporting. I click this. This is a pretty good build. It explains here several several things about the hero. Has also starting items, core items for the support, the general utility, situational extension, and then finally you again also have the skill builds here. The illuminated means you should take that. When you take here a build, you also get this description that you see here on the ability guide. For instance, this guy wrote for you to understand better. Dual breath has consistent debuff effects, but given the mana cost, cannot be abused. So for every each one of these abilities, it has a little explanation. This is really good for you when you start up. So I would say just come here, check out whatever guide you want and click OK. It's going to be here now for you to play and check out of this. Now, you have this. You know what else you can do, actually? You can edit even this own build. So you choose whatever build you want there and then you can come here and this little icon of a pencil, I think. Click this. Edit mode. Now if I want, for instance, uh, let's see, I want to add a TP to utility for reasons. I just, you know, do this. Click. I dragged it here. It's there. I want to put a zone of knowledge there. Click. Done. If I want to take something out, same thing. I want to take uh, out the zone of knowledge that I put, I just bring it here again and it gets out. When you're finished, when you do this, you have whatever you want. You click here. Saved. Okay, now I have the TP also there. So you see, I, you should always do this. If you want to enter uh, a game and try a new build, the best you can do is put it here because with so much things happening in the game, you're going to forget. So I would uh, definitely recommend you do this. Now let's let the game roll. I'm playing Jakiro, by the way, because my friend uh, wants to play Jakiro. So I'm going to show him how to start here. Ideally, you will get the support items that are just here. So this includes the courier. This time it was bought by a bot, so you won't need that. You buy the observer wards, so let me just do that. Then you have tangos for sustain, like I, I teach them. And in this build, you get a wimpies. Since I still have money, because the bots actually bought the animal courier and the observer ward, I can still get, for instance, a carotee. And 150, I'm going to prepare for the tranquil wards. I'm going to put this here. This is what we call the, the quick buy, by the way. You can uh, use your hotkeys to, to do this. It means that whenever I have the money for, for these items, let me just write that by the way. Whenever I have the, have the money for these items, I'm going to hear a sound and it's going to kind of come out. So basically, I put this like in my in my queue list. I know this is the next item that I'm going to go for. Okay, next thing. First lesson when you're playing, even though you want to follow a specific build, my advice to you is never get any point in any ability until after the game starts. Wait for the game to start. 
as you should know by now, uh, there's a thing called rooms that spawns here. Usually heroes fight for these rooms. In this case, I'm late, so the, the fight already happened. But in case I would need another spell that wasn't dual breath, I would scale it down. Okay, you see, so that's the utility. Now, did you hear that sound and you see this here? Ring of protection, I have enough money for it, but I wanted to just buy it. Okay, but now to show you something else, that's the final thing I want to show you guys in this, in this video, the rest of you alone. I want to show you what do you do uh, when you come... Who do I have there? Please use sniper here. Okay. Um, I want to show you positioning in your camera and positioning in actually the support in the lane. So you see, this is the lane, those are the creeps. For some reason my bots are going crazy, so I'm gonna go here also. I'm gonna use my spell. And I'm gonna walk and hit, you see? I click on the ground to walk and click at the same time. Now I get back. Look at, look at how I position myself. I'm never here in the middle. I'm always on the sides. I'm never being hit by creeps. I'm never uh, on the other side of the, the creeps, you see? I'm always here before that, out of range. Now, follow this build. I can use this ability on towers to keep people down. So I go here, I put it, I get out again. And you know why do I get out? Because tower is gonna hit me and that's not gonna make the house that I don't want to lose. Now notice another thing, you see how I move my camera. I have the camera centered on my hero, right? Most of the times. But as you can see, let me just watch you also for easiness. As you can see also in the minimap, every hero is in its dis destiny lane, so to, so to say. I know I'm not gonna get a ganked. There's no one coming from here, for instance. This area is completely safe. Well, no one is gonna gank me anywhere. So what do I do with my camera? Instead of having it here, completely centered on my hero, I constantly have it where it, it matters because here nothing is happening. Look at this, there's no creeps. I, I, I don't have any enemies to click on. So what I do is I know my hero is here. I know perfectly well. So I position my camera like this. My hero is here, you know, you don't see it. I know where it is though. And this way I see what is actually happening. My enemies here, what are they doing? My, my teammates here. So now I know, and I keep doing this. And this is something really good that you should learn as soon as possible when you start playing because uh, it's gonna help you a lot if you learn how to actually control your camera to see in the most important place. So the now let's continue. Resumes. I'm gonna go here again. And now notice this, how I always kind of get back when I think it's gonna be dangerous for me. But I still come back in on, okay, there's no danger. I come back in. I walk, I click on the ground, and then I click on this guy. See, another guy that, that's dead. You know why also? Because instead of just clicking on the guy and keep clicking on him, I click on him and then I click on the ground so I can move. Now again, I'm just here. I'm gonna try to deny some. And always keeping like this, you see? I'm never in front of my creeps. I'm never almost in front of my other support, uh, not support, sorry, other my company hero here. I'm I want to mess with this guy, but I don't have mana. This is aggro, you see right here? What I just did is basically I walked in front when there's no creeps because all my creeps died. So now I'm pushing the enemy creeps into me and they're dealing damage. And this is what exactly what you want to avoid. Look, my, my creeps are coming now here. My teammate is here and I'm here. And this is, this, is, this, this is the worst position where you want to be. You never want to be in this position because this makes you vulnerable. You don't want to be hit by creeps. You don't want to be hit by this guy. You want to avoid that as much as possible. See? So now what I'm gonna Let do is I'm gonna go back to the lane. You see? Behind my creeps. Okay, so I'm here again. My life went down, so I'm gonna eat the tango. I have enough money, so I'm gonna buy a boot. And I'm gonna come here and see what's happening. Okay, the guys are coming. Okay, time to back. See? I just backed a little bit. Back, 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 back. Keep watching them. Keep seeing what's happening. this build I have enough money for one spell but just the one spell I keep here you see they can't hit me I can't hit them but I control them I know where they are now imagine if we want to go into somewhere we want to go on this witch top I'm gonna ping it because I know my 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 bot will basically go on it and now this guy stood here so this is an easier kill. I'm just gonna go on him I'm gonna use all my spells and I'm gonna walk here in front and keep you killed another time another item that you can buy here another thing and now i am out of mana i use a clarity you know where you put yourself to use a clarity also back 
completely back. You don't want it to be interrupted. All these heroes have spells that can interrupt, creeps attacking you can interrupt. So you stay like this. You see? So I'm gonna end my video here, guys. I hope this was useful just for you to see how you s are supposed to move in the beginning of the game. So basically, uh, simple repetition, completely for starters, and I'm not going into deeper things like how to pull, how to secure lanes, how to harass. This is bots, I went into a lane with two other guys, so this is just to show you. Basically, don't walk ever in front of your, of your, of your heroes, your teammates, and of the creeps. Keep yourself at a safe distance, only come in when you think you can have a chance to get a kill, and always come back again, you see? So control this distance, always control. Now, look at this. There's creeps on the tower. I know I'm gonna, gonna get attacked because there's all these creeps that are being attacked. So I go there, I use my spell on the tower, and I get back. Mm -hmm. I don't stay there. Another very important thing, this, the range. You see, if I click on the tower, you see the range of the tower? Missing Never be under this range because you're gonna be attacked. So okay, this will be all for now. Uh, I hope it helps and I'm, I can do things that are deeper explainings about this stuff. I can also do a, a guide on Jakiro eventually if I, I find that really useful for now and how to support better but I think for now this this is enough so good luck guys anything just tell me okay bye